Hey guys, check out the new Mississauga skate park on Ninth Line. So pretty sweet um, basketball court kind of area. I'm not sure what it is quite yet, but you have these ledges that you can't really skate, but a good area here for flat ground skate. You see, it's kind of a trek getting here, so make sure you don't have one pair of shoes. So the skate park is entirely finished, it looks like. Now, it wasn't exactly the plans that I posted online before, but I thought that there was gonna be some continuation. But, so you have this quarter, which is, I'm six foot and it is up to my eyes. So I would say I'm six foot two, so it's probably six foot. Then that's probably five foot or four foot. Um, pretty steep, but good. You have this little kicker to go off of, right? Trying not to step on it because of my boots, but maybe what I'll do is I'll take my boots off and just walk around like a crazy guy. So you have this crazy little kicker coping. Uh, the coping up here is um, it's black uh, metal. Let's come up. And you have a little transfer here for all of the really good tranny guys that can hop over that. You know, probably a handful of them out there. So dropping in here, you can drop in and then you can launch right off this. And just me, myself, like if you follow my skateboarding, could I do something like this? I'm not that good. Yeah, I'd probably just do like a little nollie or something like that, but pretty good. Whoa. All right, then come down this area, it's like a tunnel, very long. I would say the length of this park is, I don't know. It's uh, kind of uncomparable because it's one way. It's not circular for sure. Now this box here, manual pad, is lower or like a little, like an inch lower than the one at Milton, the long one or maybe the same uh, height. You have metal coping on that, I believe. This is metal as well, but it's the, um, kind of the one that wraps around, not the circle tube. You have a high ledge here. So this canal here kind of reminds you a lot of, um, not sure if anyone's been to Guelph, but in Guelph, there's a little one and then there is a, a long one. But yeah, pretty, pretty good. Coping looks fun. And I'll get to the super cool area after. So you have this continuation shot from this side, which this looks pretty cool. Now, if you're familiar with uh, the Georgetown skate park, um, you notice how we have these kind of everywhere. But this is much more like the one at Georgetown is a badunkadunk where like there's no transition there at the bottom this one has a transition so you might actually be able to go up here and do something depending on you know if you grind it across here you can come in here and you wouldn't feel like oh crap you're gonna you know hit that thing so we have a, um, a death type of quarter quarter pipe so it's like a bank you use it as a bank there drop in and in the amount of speed you would get from this you know death quarter pipe or i'm not sure what it's called would go over you're kind of dead right is i don't know that's a lot of speed you could probably come up here and like grind i don't know how far you'd get though now this is going to be my whole summer right here and i say that i'm not sure because i haven't skated it yet but i can just imagine coming up tail slide coming up nose grind pop over this is crazy super mellow bank you know me i skate way too many banks because i like flip tricks that aren't moving that are controllable and so you have this kind of cool uh, hubba with a very short runoff, so crooked grinds might feel weird going to the grass, but you know, control it. And three set looks good, no crack, no crack. Um, this um, rail, the fact that it's got these two cracks here is kind of annoying, but you know, a lot of people don't care about that stuff, I do, but um, yeah. I would definitely hit that rail and I do not hit rail, so pretty attainable. Then you have this thing, which I'm not sure, little wall ride bonky thing, probably end up dying. And then uh, same kind of runoff with that hubba. They kind of look mirrored, um, not much difference. Now this rail, again, they got this annoying little badonka dunk right before you pop. I don't know, maybe someone can bondo that, but 
then um, <clears throat> goes off and yeah again obtainable so it's probably this much higher than the Milton Park Rail like Milton Park Rail would be like here right so not as high as the old Milton Park Rail uh, mirrored three set so you could potentially uh, drop in all the way up to three set manual across drop so this goes off which is cool very nice and I'm six foot and uh, I'm not getting hung up on it but if you are not six foot maybe four foot it will rack you but uh, that's part of the skateboarding game hopefully you don't have kids just kidding it's probably fine so that's it that's the overall look and feel for the current development at the Milton sorry at the uh, Mississauga skate park this one here is on ninth line if you look here this is a community center it's behind it over there is where ninth line runs across in front of it okay and um, over there is uh, Britannia and over there is Eglinton so wedged in between Eglinton and Britannia well guys I hope you like that quick look at the um, finished um, phase one hopefully there's a phase two of the uh, Mississauga uh, ninth line skate park pretty nice nifty hope you all have a wonderful sunny day summer is coming and the fun is coming with it